before we start this vlog. Guys, I finally did it. I started a Spanish channel, just straight Spanish channel. Like it's all gonna be Spanish vlogs. Uh, my Spanish is a little bit choppy, but I'm working on it. I got some really good feedback. Make sure if you guys wanna check it out, it's on the description down below. It's just called Miguel Garcia Reptiles or Miguel Garcia Reptiles, whatever you wanna call it. But guys, let's get to this vlog. See the GNX right there is completely cleaned out. You see the- Justin Kabelka just purchased a snake from AEP. I mean, dude. Have a O D Y B. Yeah, man. Talk about a beautiful, beautiful snake. That was one of my. What's up, YouTube? I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, rattlesnake feeding. I mean, I sure did. Again, it's super hard to try to get that footage like right on there because you don't want to go in and just like put your hand on there and just poke on it and you know whatnot and then that thing strike you and then you know that would not that would not be a good idea but guys as you guys saw on the thumbnail and on the title we are going to be shipping some investment ball pythons and i'm going to be giving everyone a shout out that has purchased some of these snakes just as you guys know i love to spread the word out there and i think it's great for this community to grow and grow so do me a big favor guys and when i shout these people please go check out the instagram or the youtube their information can be in the description down below and go give them a follow i mean the more we could spread this love and show everyone how great this community is, I mean, it's only going to be better for all of us, man. So let's get these guys' numbers up there, and let's start off with the first person, and then, of course, I'm going to show you guys some other great snakes. The first shot is going to be going to my buddy, Brett Roar. You guys follow him on Instagram already. I mean, that guy has some stuff on his videos that, I mean, I honestly could never do. But I'm going to leave it to you guys' imagination to see what I'm talking about. But go check out his page, man. He seriously just got some crazy stuff over here. Um, they're double head stuff. One of them's in shed. I'm going to show you the snake. I'm going to show you the combo that it has. But as far as the double recessive genes, you guys have to go check out his Instagram and see exactly what it is. Plus, it's in shed. So you're really not going to be able to get its true beauty. Right here is a male ODYB possible gene X double head something something and this little guy right here is so beautiful man and I want to say it does prove out gene X just because how bright he is again you guys got to see after he sheds out on his page but this thing is beautiful man he also picked up another snake so we'll be shipping these things out for him to him today and this next one oh my gosh man let me tell you guys this thing is whoo you want to talk about some like straight up powerhouse the female that my buddy Johnny from Summit Exotic Reptiles is seriously on the next level type stuff I mean dude I put the snake on morph market and honestly within like three hours this thing was already sold the guy is like Johnny messaged me he's like hey dude he goes I want that snake he goes boom boom and dude let me tell you this snake is amazing I'll give you guys a quick little glimpse of what he purchased Crazy, right? Yeah, this thing is insane, man. If you guys go check out his Instagram and see the level of stuff that he has, you guys are going to be blown away, man. It's so crazy because like I said on my last vlog that you really don't see that many people out there that have some amazing, amazing projects. And it's because they either don't have a big social media platform or, you know, other things. But I'm telling you guys, if I could just keep sharing these people and see all the crazy stuff that other people are working with, trust me, it's so mind-blowing and so great for this whole community. Let's go into the house because Tina is working on the shipping. I want to show you guys her process of getting labels, getting the boxes ready, and then go say hi to Jesse and then shout out another person. Hey, what's up, Patchers? Why are you so dusty? Just rolling around on the floor, aren't you? <laughs> Oh man, what a beautiful day it is out today. Gotta love Cali. And of course, we have to say what's up to the big dog right here. What's up, fellas? Jesse, I got yelled at, man, because, hold on, let me get a better lighting, big homie. Right there. Why am I too what's, dark? No. <laughs> <laughs> what's up with the giveaway with the Reptile Chip, man? Straight disrespecting Reptile Chip. Oh, dude, wait, I'm Damn, with that. bro. Hey, you brought it up. You should get oh, one of these right cool. here, bro. <laughs> but yeah, damn, ready to drop some water? I think I bro, peed. I come think I on. <laughs> but Jesse, so you want to do it right now? Yeah, let's do it right now. Okay. All right, guys. So this is how it's going to go down. Him and I already talked about it. So he's going to put a picture up of Reptile Chip on his AEP Foreman uh, handle right here. He's going to put a picture of a couple of blocks on there. All you have to do is comment, share, and make sure you follow my brother. And three people are going to be getting picked, and they're going to get one free block of Repta Chip on us. Well, on him, but oh, on, on, on We're us. together, bro. No, it's mostly on him. Nice shirt, big dog. Nice shirt. But yeah, guys. Yeah, so make sure you guys do that. He will be posting the picture on Saturday. So make sure you guys go follow, share, comment. Yep, make sure you comment. Comment, comment, yeah, comment, comment, comment. Yeah, make sure you comment and follow. And I will be posting the picture, I'll say about 12, our time? Yes. So I'll be 12, our time, I'll be posting the picture of the three blocks. And then you see who the lucky winners are. Fizzle, fizzle, fizzle. All right, so we have the turtle right here. Turtle, and what are you doing? I'm just getting our labels ready. So guys, as always, remember, superior shipping, man, is where we get all of our stuff right here. And 
we don't just get our shipping labels, we also get our daily cups, our shipping boxes, our shipping bags, you name it. All of our Reptel needs is a superior shipping supply. Guys, I'm telling you guys, they have the best prices, the best customer service. I'm not just saying it just because, you know, I love these guys, but I've been with them since we first, first started. I mean, which was, what, two and a half, three years ago? It's Almost three years? Care of us. And dude, they're just amazing. Trust me, guys. They'll take care of you all over the world. You guys, go check out Superior Shipping Supplies. And while you're at it, you guys can't leave out Campfire, man. I'm telling you, they're going to make some new crazier designs on some new awesome swords. So make sure you guys also give them a follow. Now, let's go see the turtle step to shipping out these snakes. Okay, so the steps are pretty easy over here. I'm not going to get it too close because my information's right there. And I don't want you guys to track my information and then go buy some stuff. But what's it called? So right here, the first step is, you know, you always have to build an account, which is super easy. Easy, then get all your payment information on there and then it's pretty easy after that after that it tells you your box your the length the width the height inches etc I mean you guys that ship stuff already know how this works but that's one of the first steps and after that you start BAM working on these boxes right here uh, Tina was supposed to wait for me we were supposed to start them from the beginning but as you can see it's pretty self-explanatory right I mean pretty simple you just tape a box <laughs> yeah I mean you put them together you put the foam in there and it makes these cool little noises that kind of bug my ears a little bit but yeah you do that then you know you put live animal on there and you get some stickers and you get some postcards and you know whatnot and you throw the snakes in there but all right we'll get the labels chip we'll get the labels printed and then we'll start packing up these snakes and another shout out was to, damn bro, I was just going to get to that. Oh, sorry bro. Damn. Yeah, I'll bottle it, I'll bottle it. <laughs> okay, so, um, Next snake, I'm going to post a picture of it up real quick, just so you guys can see, and then I'll tell you guys who got it. Check this out. Yeah, man, talk about a beautiful, beautiful snake. That was one of my snakes. My snakes. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, and after what you were here. Oh. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. Did you guys see that? Snakes goes to none other than Steven from Las Vegas Ball Pythons. Go check out their Instagram. I'm telling you, man, these guys are collecting some straight up fire, man. Damn, big guy. I want to know what else you do when I'm not here. Oh, I know, bro. It happened <laughs> when you were here, huh? Uh, all right, so Turtle got all the information out already, and she is printed out on her Hewlett Packer. <laughs> All in one. <laughs> the, uh, it is an is it an all in one? It's an all in one. It does everything. <laughs> does you guys see the labels are right there, guys? Guys, how easy is that right there? Well, easy for me because I'm not doing it, but it's you know. It's easy. <laughs> yeah, it's work for her. All right, guys. So we're gonna go get these snakes ready real quick, and really can't show you the snakes, but we got to bag them, put them in there, then we'll go talk some snake stuff, and I'll show you guys some awesome projects. And as I'm vlogging all this, guess who calls and purchases a snake? I mean, you want to talk about like having like a really good day, especially when you're like the guy that's like at the top buys a snake from you. I mean, dude, that's freaking crazy. But Justin Kabelka just purchased a snake from AEP. I mean, dude, it doesn't get any better than that, man. Dude, this guy got a crazy, crazy powerhouse of a snake. So guys, make sure you guys go check out. I mean, you guys, I don't even have to tell you to go check out Justin Kabelka. You guys all know who he is, but of course the handle is going to be right here. Oh, right there. All his information is going to be on the description down below and go find out what he got. Or you guys want me to show you a quick little glimpse? Yeah, let's do that. Here she is. Bam, look at that beauty. All right, so we're packing up the last snake right there, and that's, that's going it. to Justin. Justin, fun way. And so, Tina, I want to explain real quick again about the heat packs and stuff like that. Make sure the red line's up. You always yes, take them out. Yes, red line up for oxygen. I take them out earlier because I need to make sure that- Approximately how long? Like, it's like 30 minutes, an hour? Yeah, about a half hour. Just, you know, enough time for it to feel warm and then I just pack it up. Because <laughs> there has been a couple times guys where we have shipped some yes. stuff out and they've never engaged to you know start warming up or anything like that. Right. So definitely very important to get that going guys. So there take it go. out, leave it out for a couple of minutes. Red line out. <laughs> and then put them in there just to make yes. sure they're engaged. Cool, so all we're gonna do right now is just get the other one ready. As you, as you know, she puts live animals on them and then we tape them all up and then we send them out to FedEx and, and then they're on their way. <laughs> all right, man, look at all this mess over here. Freaking Jesse totally did me dirty. But yeah, guys, again, a big shout out and a big thank you to all of you guys that have been purchasing some snakes from us. Honestly, it's it's been such a blessing. I know I say it a lot, but again, it's like a lot of hard work and a lot of energy that's been put into this and just seeing it go and grow is just super, super amazing. Also, I got a new hand tattoo. Check this out. What better things to have on both your hands? A watch and your compass. Ooh, isn't that cool? Yeah. Well, I think it's cool, plus it's my hands. But anyways, guys, let's go. Let's go. 
<laughs> but anyways guys let's go over some snakes and let me show you guys some other cool projects some other cool stuff that i'm pairing up and working with and go from there right here guys we have a chocolate hypo desert ghost female and she is currently breeding to odyb desert ghost Het hypo and what we're shooting for there is a odyb chocolate hypo desert ghost how insane would that be i mean you guys know i'm working with some chocolate stuff over here and speaking of chocolate gosh this, this snake over here is honestly just working its way to like being my number one favorite snake and again right here we have a odyb inchy chocolate 100 hep hide i mean i totally missed any visual chocolates on this last pairing with the super chocolate hep hide i was able to see how all the genes work together before throwing pied in there or getting lucky enough to hit pied but this is going to be insane man. imagine getting pied into this crazy which reminds me that's the next pairing that we're doing which is the super chocolate hep pied FEMA right here showing really really good follicle growth and for you guys that always ask how come we don't have any water on them well they always have water but what we like to do is we like to clean out once a week all the waters out and put new deli cups in there's just something that we do over here and well actually something that Jesse does over here so they get fresh cups fresh water because even though we clean the cups out we take the waters out there's always they always make some mess there and if there's any kind of mess or any kind of debris in there we just take the whole deli cup out and then we just put a new one and just refill them but we do that once a week so that's why sometimes when I'm vlogging there's no deli cups there so guys they do drink water because they didn't then you know they would have died or something but that super chocolate hep pied is breeding again to the OD YB Inchi GeneX Pied Boy that should be shedding any day now. So as you can see, he's still a little dull. But yeah, this guy. Hopefully, we could hit the that. Hopefully, we could hit that one snake I showed you guys, but with the pied in it. I mean, I think that's going to be a freaking banger, man. That's one combo that I'm really excited to work with is the chocolate pied stuff. Hopefully, this season we're able to do some super chocolate orange dream yellow belly pied stuff. I mean, I should be able to hit it. Super excited about it. So let's check out some other stuff. Man, I'm telling you guys, this Gene X stuff is just amazing. For a lot of you people that are wondering, like, oh, what does the Gene X do? What is it? Blah, blah, blah. This and this and that. So as you guys can see how smooth and bright the colors are, so let me show you one that has the same genes, just doesn't have the Gene X. Let me see. I have no one to help me out here. But as you can see, the Gene X right there is completely cleaned out. You see the one on the, on the right side, you can see more of the black on it. But yeah, that's the difference with the Gene X right there. And as they get older, the Gene X keeps the snake a lot brighter and a lot cleaner looking. So for you guys want to know what the difference is, here is a really, really good side-by-side -side comparison right there. And by the way, guys, real quick, let me put this away. And by the way, guys, this ODYB Inchi male is available. If you guys are interested, you don't see too many of them. I think Justin is the only one that has another one of these. But yeah, this guy's available, man. Go check him out on Morph Market. Def definitely good powerhouse to have. Oh, man. Speaking of Orange Dream, Yellow Belly, Inchy, Gene X Pides. This is honestly the prettiest one I've made so far. And to be honest, this is the prettiest one I've seen, honestly. And this just got picked up as well, too, man. This guy will be going to his new home in a couple of weeks. A good buddy of mine's actually taking him. But look at this, man. Jeez, that I mean, dude, it looks like a super OD. So much males here that I'm, I'm just excited for them to get up to sites to start breeding as well. Is this special Pied Boy? Can't wait to pair up this guy with like some super OD Pieds or some ODYB Gene X Pieds. I mean, dude, endless combinations, endless, endless combinations. Also, this Leopard Blackhead Lavender 100% Hep Pied. He has a lot of females waiting for him, man, so he needs to hurry up. And last but not least is this massive powerhouse. He's almost ready, man. I've actually have been putting up with some females, and he's just been laying on top of them, which is a good sign. But right here we have a black pastel, acid, or confusion, or static, whatever you want to call it, 100% head desert ghost. Guys, that's it for this vlog. As always, you know, we appreciate all the support. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And until next time, guys, peace.